residents are saying, I don't want any trucks on that road ever. And having the quarry say, no, we like it the way it is, no change ever. That doesn't get us anywhere. We have to get some kind of compromise. And compromise is not a weakness. It's a good thing, right? It's to, to try and find a solution. So, you know, you, it may be part of the solution to say, well, maybe we need to, to avoid the residents fearing these problems. And quite frankly, we hope that the quarries are going to be successful, more successful. And I suspect they will be with all the infrastructure money we're spending in the next few years, that there might actually be an increase in traffic. We would want that as a region, but you're going to have residents who are going to be increasingly frustrated. So you may want to look at designing that road to a higher standard uh, because of that. And, you know, I think that all of those options should be on the table where we're looking at you know, making sure that we're not just following the timetable for regular roads, that we may want to do it sooner. I know you said we had to do that within five years, but maybe we should be looking at that now and then doing it again in a briefer period of time because of that traffic. So as long as, as all those options are going to be open and discussed, I think, I think then you can come to some kind of compromise.